How's it going everyone? Silver Shareholder here. I'm going to do an unboxing, but first I wanted to take a minute to speak with everyone about a conversation I was having through messaging on Instagram and what happened was somebody had put up a picture of a silver price chart. I believe it was a 1994 chart and silver was around $4 an ounce and I wanted to do a little bit here about $4 an ounce silver in hindsight and so I, I did a little bit of research I didn't spend too much time with it and I was unable to find the 1994 chart so what I came up with was a chart from uh, 96 I believe and um, I came up with a price of silver that was four dollars and eighty cents to four dollars and ninety cents an ounce and um, in the comments there on Instagram some people were talking about four dollars an ounce and you know how exciting that would be and they'll be stacking you know to the ceiling and uh, really scooping up silver at four dollars an ounce and um, I understand that but when I think about it a little further and I think about it in context I start to wonder exactly what four dollar an ounce silver in 1994 would have meant so I made some points on that and left some comments and uh, I thought that I'll talk about it a little here in a video so what I came up with was 1996 480 an ounce then I came up with the price of gas for 1996 gasoline between a dollar fifteen and a dollar twenty eight a gallon and um, I also found uh, a price of a Big Mac was regular price a dollar ninety and they had a promotion going at the time where if you bought fries and a drink it was fifty five cents for the Big Mac and um, I found the average rent price which was pretty hard to pinpoint so it's hard to get an average housing cost but uh, what I saw was 1996 and I believe that number was from New York which might have been a little higher was 595 a month was the average rent and I'm seeing today the average rent uh, 1231 and I believe that's nationwide so that's probably lower than the, the New York figure would be but uh, 1231 is the average rent I believe in 2014 you have gasoline up around four dollars a gallon um, you have a, a Big Macs probably around four dollars or something and uh, so when you think about it in that context of uh, valuation I don't know that we're really that far off right now from four dollar an ounce silver so what would have been at that time four dollar an ounce silver and a dollar and change a gallon gasoline is not too far off right now from our twenty dollar or nineteen dollar an ounce silver I think we're in the high 18s right now so if you went up four hundred percent from uh, what was it four dollars an ounce you're at sixteen dollars an ounce if you go up four hundred percent from a dollar a gallon for gas you're up at four dollars a gallon now not all the prices are in that same range but I don't think we're that far off Another interesting thing was also the gold-silver ratio at the time was right around where we are now. I believe it was like 66 to 1 in 1994 uh, when this chart that was shown was from. So we're right in that same range today. So I don't know what all that means, but just um, in hindsight, $4 ounce silver was a great deal. But it's not the type of thing that is going to make someone wealthy, I don't think. So if you had bought a thousand dollars or you know a hundred thousand dollars worth of silver in 1994 at four dollars an ounce, um, and you went to sell it today at nineteen dollars an ounce, I don't know that your purchasing power has changed too much. It has been preserved pretty well, so it seems to have done a pretty good job of preserving purchasing power and uh, a great in hate inflation hedge but uh, that's about what I'm seeing from it so certain stocks and other investments would have far outperformed it I believe in returns in gains others would have lost you everything so some stocks might have gone up astronomically others have gone to zero um, silver is pretty well kept pace with inflation so I'd like to hear what everyone has to say on that you know line of thinking and uh, yeah, leave some comments about that. I found it pretty interesting. So, 
four dollar an ounce silver sounds great but on the other hand uh, considering the time frame and the increase in the price of all the other goods services commodities um, I think you're about even so gonna go ahead I got a couple unboxings to do here and I uh, just wanted to take a minute to talk about that so this is gonna be from uh, eBay eBucks deal or uh, eBay bucks so I had the the four times eBay bucks went ahead and ordered this and I'm actually pretty excited on this one So I've been wanting one of these for a long time, and uh, for whatever reason, hadn't hadn't picked it up yet. And I just finally went ahead and got one, and it's a uh, one ducat. And I just kind of always wanted a ducat. I don't know. I think it was like when I was younger, and uh, heard of ducats. You know, ducats being money, and it just kind of stuck in my head, I guess. And it's actually looking pretty good too. I'm pretty impressed with that one. But um, yeah, so it's just a one ducat, nice coin. But for some reason, you know, I just remember hearing the term ducats, and always thought that was really cool. And then now getting into metals a bit, and uh, just always wanted a ducat. So I finally got one. Pretty excited about that. And then this is going to be a a pickup again. Uh, thanks to Instagram on this one and it was uh, double sixes I think I believe he's on YouTube as well and he puts up some pictures of some really nice stuff and this one kinda caught my eye and he told me they were having like a promotion on it at Silvertown so I went ahead and picked this up and uh, yeah looking forward to these they looked interesting after all the milk spot issues though that people have I kind of uh, you know cringe at the thought of getting something like this and having milk spots but from what I hear it doesn't happen on the proof coins I guess we'll see these were a little bit you know pricey for what they are over spot but um, excited to pick them up and I guess I got them about half of what they were originally released for so I went ahead and picked up three of them and they looked really cool in his picture so happy to have been able to pick them up nice coins and uh, I was happy I got the heads up on those so yeah just thought I'd make a quick video and share these with everybody Thanks everybody for watching. Leave your comments, like, share, subscribe.